Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Asian Programmer. So today our topic is maps. So basically maps in C++ are used when we need a data dictionary type data structure in C++. So Python and other Java programming language provide a data type dictionary, but in C++ if you want to make a dictionary, then you can make it with a map containers in C++. So in order to make a map, either you include the map library or the bits std++.h library. It's up to you. So to create a map object, you need to specify the name keyword map. Then inside you have to specify the data type of the key. I'm making an integer. Then the data type of the key value, map value, which we need to assign to that particular key value. Then the name of the object, let's say MP. Okay, in order to insert value in that particular map, what you need to do, there is like a two way around. First, either you write mp.insert and after that, just put the braces and the curly braces in between. So first, let's say the key value is one and the map value is string, uh, not string, let's say USA. Okay, I'm just assigning the value USA. I will just copy this again and assign another value let's say now the key value is 2 and the uh, country name would be like Pakistan okay so the first way to insert value is like this or the second way to an enter a value inside the map is you just write the name of the map then the array brackets then you inside just specify the key value and assign this key value to a particular value let's say India okay India Okay, that's it as you can do like this so yeah you can insert value with these two ways let's make a print function to print the values as well so in order to make a print function we need to make a print and inside we will just send a map with integer and string type mp and we have to loop through it to print for auto keyword if you are using C11 and above, mp dot begin till i is not equals to mp dot end and i plus plus. To print to print this value, you have to do like this: i this arrow first. Okay, then i arrow second. As the map has two values. So that's why we are printing the first value and the second value. So the first second value is, is a built-in function inside the map. So yeah, it will just print the same way. Okay. We'll just call the print function over here and run the program. Okay, let's say first is USA, second is Pakistan and third is India. So simply we have to write three values and it prints over here. Okay, what if we want to erase a particular value? So in order to erase a particular value in the map, you can just simply write mp.erase and give the key value you want to delete. Let's say we want to delete the value Pakistan from it. And after that, print, call the function mp again, print function again. And up above that, just write cout. after deleting the second value okay just put the semicolon over here yep let us run it again so now you see the first we make three values after deleting the second value which is Pakistan now we have USA and India so that uh, sequence we have like one for USA and three for India so this value can access in a constant time that's why it it doesn't change the india with to two again to just make the list more prominent no it will just it, in order to get this you can get it in a constant time that's why the name the particular key value will remain the same and the particular value will be assigned to it okay if you want to want to get the size of that our map that what size of our map is right now you can just simply see out size of our map is just call it mp.size that's it that's a simple function 
okay if you run it you will get the size as well okay so the next thing the size of our map is 2 so the next thing of the map is that for example you are working in an industry or in the corporation and you want to know how big a map you can create in that particular pc so in order to get that what you need to do you just have to print see out max in order to check you just have to print maximum size of map i could make I could make is you just have to write mp dot max underscore size okay and just put the handle over there and just run this out so this max size function is a function which tells you how big a map value can create in this particular pc so i can create this much big a map value a map in my pc right now because that's the memory have i have free memory in my pc so yeah this is the functionality of the map and and the map is basically used when you want to make a dictionary type of data structure Let okay one more functionality of map is that if you want to check that map is empty or not you can do like this you just have to make if empty empty dot empty that's it if the map is empty it will return one if map is not empty it will return zero see out map is empty okay else see out map is not empty okay run this out okay it says map is not empty so in order to clear the all the values which is present in map there is an, another function which is map uh, clear you can use that mp dot clear so with this instruction all the value inside the map will become erased and if you do this again this will tell you now the map is empty okay after we use the clear instruction it says now map is empty because we have just delete all the elements from the map so okay and after that above that we'll just code let's make an array okay integer array let's say with the 10 size and in that what we gonna enter is 1 1 1 2 2 3 three three and four and five okay these are the ten values we have so in order to get the frequency of these particular values in that array what we can do we make a map map with the integer key value and now the map value is also an integer so what we need to do we can make an integer as well so let's say frequency we need this map frequency now in order to get the frequency of this array what we can do we need to insert these values inside the map so in order to when we are inserting this value what we need to do we just have to loop i is equal to 0 i less than the size of the array which is 10 i plus plus okay i just mix a semicolon in between here you go after that what you can do is that mp okay this is a simple way to make uh, to get the frequency it's not mp it's a frequency sort frequency now inside that what we need to do we have to place that particular value of 10 array we can simply do like this as we know our key value is integer we just place that particular key value inside that that one will be a sign equal to i'm just doing the plus plus so what i'm doing over here is that when the when one number will come into that frequency it will just plus plus so it will assign with one value okay the second time one will come it will just go on to that and do one plus more like this if i do like this i am just assigning that uh, one for example it will just assign one all the time it will just uh, overwrite overwrite again and again but i'm using plus plus function so whenever the uh, one will come it will just plus plus one for example if the first time one come the frequency will be one the second time one will come it will just plus plus the frequency will be two so it is an easy function to 
to make the frequency to get the frequency okay so our frequency function is over what we need to do we need to print let's call print and inside we'll just send the frequency but now this will give error because in here we make a print function for integer and string type map so we just have to change this string into an integer because now our map it's coming both are type with int and int so after that if we call this function let's run this program and you will see the frequency okay here you go it says the frequency of one is three times so three times once come in the array okay it's right three times once come then it says the frequency of two is two because two comes twice then the frequency of three is three because three times three come in this array thrice the frequency of four is one the frequency of five is one because it comes five okay if you want to change as well let's do like this let's say 100 okay 1000 and 1000 again and 1000 again we enter 3000 more and what we need to do we have to change the size over here 13 and here as well 13 now run it again so it is like a dynamic function it doesn't matter the array size uh, if the array size is so big it doesn't matter because the map will we will just get the map value like this so the frequency of 1 is 3 and then we have entered the 1000 in the end and the frequency of 1000 is 3. So what it does, a map, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 1000 value is our key values. And the next value is, is the frequency of that values in our map. So that's it for today's lecture. I hope you guys like it. I will put this whole code, a uh, source code in the, my description if you want to uh, get learn from it again. So these are this is the whole code we have created over here so i hope you guys like it do like and subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much bye bye